She taught me all these realms. I will teach you. But then, Tilna arrived. Also. I don't know whether to be mystified or miffed. Hmm. 1993 was a long time ago, but that's when the original Mist launched. Mist has sold over 6 million copies since it was released, and many do in fact consider it one of the greatest games of all time. I'm not one of those people. I think it's a landmark title. I think it's an important one, but it hasn't aged particularly well, in my personal opinion. That said, the 90s were awesome, and I'm getting misty-eyed just thinking about it. Since then, developer Cyan Inc., also known as Cyan Worlds, have created quite a few games, including many sequels to Myst. I believe they got all the way up to Myst 5 at one point or another, and there was even a Myst Online. I never made it that far myself. Let me know in the comments below if you did. Now, having lingered in development since 2018 when the developer launched a Kickstarter, Firmament has arrived at last, which is somewhat of a tribute to the Myst games of the past. Oh, but with a nod to the future, because that's right, there's VR compatibility. I played the flat screen version. Yes, don't worry, you can. Firmament is a puzzle game, of course, and it takes place from the first person perspective. There is a little bit of a story to be told here, but it's rather cryptic as you might expect. Firmament begins in a fallout shelter of sorts where your mentor tells you that you are alive for the first time and she is dead. You are now known as a keeper and she was previously a keeper. You are given a tool known as the adjunct, which is your main tool throughout the game that can be upgraded and then you're just basically told to go explore the realms. No real meaning behind why you're protecting them or doing whatever you're doing. But perhaps, as you play more, those answers will come. As you would expect, Firmament is loaded with logic puzzles, one after another really, not giving players much of a break in between. The adjunct is a huge part of solving all of these puzzles as you'll plug it into certain areas, you'll move cranes, you'll move platforms, all sorts of stuff. And it really feels like the only kind of control you have within this world as you can't jump, you have no real actions outside of using it. The game features three realms to explore and then the swan, which kind of acts as your home base. Before I really get into the nitty gritty of the puzzles and how I feel about this game as a whole, I do want to touch a little bit on the settings and the gameplay options available in Firmament. For control settings, you can adjust the look sensitivity, the engage sensitivity, you can invert the Y axis, and there's a few other light options. Also, much to my relief, this game does have the option to teleport to a safe point should you get stuck in this game or it glitches out on you like it did for me many times. For display options, not too much to choose from here. You have subtitle language options, you can adjust the gamma, and there is actually HDR in this game should your monitor support it. For audio settings, you can adjust quite a few of the sliders in this game, but interesting here is that there's a creator mode, and I guess this is for content creators so that they can stream the game without running into monetization issues? I don't know, maybe I won't get paid for this video, but that's fine, I do it for the indies, damn it. Lastly, you have your graphical settings, of course. You can choose your window resolution, super sampling, V-Sync, frame rate limiting, all the good stuff is here. There are some quality presets as well. I was able to run the game at high. There were some frame rate issues here or there. I, again, will touch on that more later. All right, so how does the core gameplay of Firmament play out? A lot of walking and a lot of puzzle solving, as you might expect. The puzzles are not so straightforward. They are solved in a very particular way and often frustrating frustratingly so. As puzzle games have advanced throughout the years, developers have really learned to give players breaks in between these puzzles, different options, things you can do just so you don't burn out. I think of The Witness as one example, where you can wander around, choose whatever puzzle you want to do in any order you wish. Firmament is very much against this new gameplay principle. I guess it's not really new anymore, but point being, they are really stuck on being an old school style missed game. They want to be true to what that was, for better or worse. So I think it's important to know what you're getting into, because this is not a puzzle game where you can kind of leisurely go through it. The puzzles are set in a very particular way where you have to solve them that way, and they can be very difficult. Think of the adjunct kind of like your portal gun if you've ever played Portal. It adds an element, but in Portal it really changes things. It changes the layout of the world and how you approach each situation. That didn't feel like the case in Firmament. You do get upgrades, but they don't really 
add much. The adjunct is really cool, but the formula kind of just becomes stick it in a hole and see what happens. Go ahead and make your joke. It's not that the puzzles in this title are particularly bad. They're actually fairly well designed, but I'm not sure they were all that fun for me personally. And I just didn't really feel any drive to get through them because the world was dead and uninteresting and the story didn't really do anything to carry me forward. Also, Firmament just likes to break, at least on the review build it certainly did. Not only was my frame rate hitching here or there, but some of the puzzles just broke completely. I was stuck in this nightmare zone at one point. This is one of the craziest glitches I've ever seen in a game. Nothing is more frustrating than getting to the end of a puzzle, finally solving it, and then the game breaking on you. It's like the developers knew to put that save point feature in because the game was going to break. I could deal with the occasional crash or bug, but unfortunately, Firmament is a huge pain in the ass for other reasons. There was one puzzle in this game where I was literally a centimeter off from a platform and my character wouldn't walk over it. I had to literally run all the way back to this crane, lower that one more centimeter just so he would cross. It was completely absurd. Clearly, you could have just crossed over this tiny gap. I get they have very particular solutions to these puzzles, but this just feels out of place, ridiculous, and downright stupid in 2023. The fun doesn't stop there. I went to test out the Steam Deck version of this game as it is Steam Deck verified on the Steam page, and it didn't work at all. The controls wouldn't even get me past the menu. There's nothing here whatsoever to see outside of a menu screen. So if you're planning to play on Steam Deck, you might not get past that point unless they get a fix out in a hurry. Hopefully they do. Visually, Firmament is okay looking. It's average at best, I would say. The worlds are very dead. Nothing feels alive in this game whatsoever. I think that's by design, but the result is a world that you don't really feel like you want to be a part of. There is some nice scenery here or there, some snowy landscapes, some more lush areas later in the game, but you do only get those few realms, and to backtrack through them again, well, it just shows you they didn't have the biggest budget for this game, unfortunately. I'm not going to hold that against it, but it's just not super interesting visually. It looks decent. You almost wish that the developers went all the way and fully embraced the old school mist thing with some campy FMV or something, but it's just very bland, basic 3D environments. Sound is very sparse in this game. There is some voice acting, which is halfway decent. Not a ton of it, but it's here. There's a few musical compositions here or there littered throughout as you begin to get deeper into these puzzles, but they are pretty forgettable for the most part. Your adjunct will occasionally make some pretty annoying eh, eh, sounds like you're on the prices right and you just lost. Occasionally, you'll also get an announcer over a loudspeaker here or there saying random stuff like, we work. In the end, I can't say Firmament is a terrible game, some of the puzzles do have some thought behind them, and it has its heart in the right place, but it feels like a relic of the past, and it doesn't really have much to say in 2023. It's an old-style puzzle game. Games have gotten better, to be 100% honest with you, so what's the point? That's kind of what I was left asking myself. I think there is something here for old-school Myst fans. They'll probably get a little bit of a kick out of it, but for everyone else, better puzzle games are available, and it just, to me, felt like a game past its prime. Thank you so much for supporting clickbait free independent content here on YouTube. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe to help us bring a voice to the voiceless ones in gaming and be sure to check out patreon.com slash I dream of indie games where we can together defeat the gaming echo chamber.